Hello everyone, welcome to the Microsoft Teams Global Hack and we are pretty much excited to show our hack on Knowledge Quest. So this Knowledge Quest is nothing but a Teams bot. It is kind of an interactive chatbot application designed to allow users to test their knowledge on specific topics using the power of OpenAI. And again, this is our hack team, myself, Nandadeep Nachand. I have been joined with um, Siddharth Vakasiya, Smita Nachand, Kun Sangani. So if in case you want to get in touch with us, here are our social media handles onto the screen. All right, so let's talk about this uh, Knowledge Quest Teams bot. So again, it is kind of an uh, interactive chatbot application, which allows users to test their knowledge on a specific topic using the power of open AI. So this app provides engaging and educational experience where users can challenge themselves and expand their knowledge on various areas. So then what are the key features of this uh, bot? So the first key feature here is the topic selection. So users can choose from wide range of topics available within the app. So these topics can include subjects like technology, for example, Microsoft Azure, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, .NET, AWS, and many more. Uh, it can also help us to generate questions on science, history, geography literature mathematics and other areas as well secondly it helps us to dynamically generate the questions so this bot leverages the capabilities of open ai to generate relevant and challenging questions based on the selected topic so the questions are designed to test the user's understanding and depth of knowledge in the chosen subject Thirdly, that it is kind of an interactive quiz experience wherein users can engage in an interactive quiz session where they receive questions one at a time from the bot. They can provide their answers and the team's bot evaluates them to determine the correctness at the end. Again, it provides the user-friendly interface. So this app provides uh, intuitive kind of an interface via adaptive cards ensuring the seamless and enjoyable user experience so the interface is designed to be virtually appealing and easy to navigate which allows users to focus on the quiz content and lastly it provides the statistics so the app offers statistics regarding the quizzes you have taken in the past including your scores so this feature provides valuable insights into your knowledge and learning progress based on your previous quiz performances it is kind of an excellent tool to assess how well you are doing and track your growth over the time all right so then what are the prerequisites to get this bot working so at least you will need node.js and the supported versions here are 16 and 18 also you will need microsoft 365 account so for example if you do not have it then you can apply the one from microsoft 365 developer program and lastly you will need teams toolkit uh, visual studio code extension with version of 5.0.0 or higher okay then how does it work so user starts interacting with the knowledge quest teams bot by asking that he or she want to test their knowledge on a specific topic. Then this uh, knowledge bot or knowledge quest teams bot makes an call to the Azure Open AI using an NPM package called as um, Open AI. Okay. So while we do that, we generate the prompt something like generate this many number of multi-choice questions with correct answer option and reference links on given subject by user in a JSON format with elements such as question, options, answer, and reference link. And then we provide the deployment ID as text DaVinci 003. And in response to that, Azure Open AI give us the set of questions in this format. So here is the question text. Then we have got certain options, A, B, C, D. And then lastly, it give us the correct answer. And then again, a reference link, for example, if the user want to know more about that question. And then uh, we, th this bot help us to show all this information in the form of uh, adaptive cards, wherein user can interact with the question. And at the end, they, eval they get evaluated on the um, selected subject. All right, so with that, let's get into a demo and see like how this one works. So right now that I'm into my Microsoft Teams. So this is the bot which is locally running. I can start interacting with the bot by by, by posting a welcome message and that's it. So once we do that, uh, the bot responds to us by saying that with the welcome message, wherein we have two options, 
that we can select the self assessment or the statistic so let's click on my stats so statistics will show you all of the statistics option like um, how well in the past that you have done like uh, how many quizzes that you have taken in the past and what was your score on that now that let's uh, try to get into a quiz itself so again i will post a welcome message uh, to this bot and now that we will select the self assessment once you select the self assessment the bot will ask us like on which topic we, you want to assess yourself so i will select microsoft azure here and then here we can select the number of questions by default it generates five questions so let's go with uh, microsoft azure by generating five questions and then we'll just click on start self-assessment and now that this bot will give us uh, all the questions that we need to assess our knowledge on microsoft azure so this one is question one out of five uh, i'm just randomly uh, picking up the answers uh, I will select the answer if in case you want to go ahead have some more um, information about this question you can click on this reference link and then I will just click on next question once we do that this particular card adaptive card gets replaced with the next question so that user will not be able to get a chance to get to the previous question and change the answer but this card get replaced itself and now that we have the question number two of five again i will just randomly select any of the question and click next question so now that we will um, go ahead and answer the five questions but at the at any given point of time if you want to end the assessment you can click on end assessment and you will be just evaluated on the number of uh, answers that you have given so far so let's quickly go ahead and uh, give the uh, answers for all the uh, four questions i'm just randomly selecting the answers probably i'm not that expert in azure all right so and that's it so now that you can see that we are on question number five of five and this one is my score pretty bad so my score is uh, one of five but this is how this um, knowledge quest bot works it uses the open ai capabilities to provide the question and answers and it gives that interactive experience to the users by which they can engage themselves onto any of the topic that they want to assess all right so let us go into the code as well so this one is our teams bot wherein uh, we have all of the uh, verbs that we are using so once we post the welcome message we get the uh, the response like uh, we, we want to start the assessment or maybe we want to see the stats and here we are using those verbs like select self assessment to start the self assessment or uh, other verb is my stats to go ahead and show the statistics so for example if i again go back to the question these are all of the verbs that we have got here and let's say for example um, we go ahead and use the statistics in that case again there is one adaptive card which will give us the information about the uh, statistics that we have got right now these statistics are kind of an hard coded but in the future we are planning to uh, store this information into uh, microsoft um, azure cosmos db and and use it from there so this is how this one will work and now that let's say for example if you want to go ahead and start the self-assessment in that case we have another card here or uh, adaptive card json which uh, help us to give the uh, or which is kind of an interactive um, adaptive card experience to the users wherein they can select the assessment topic that they want to uh, they want to assess their knowledge and then from there they can uh, give the number of questions that they want to attempt and again we have got uh, the verb here like start the self-assessment and then from there we should be able to go ahead and start that self-assessment so once once the user click on start self-assessment uh, this is the place wherein uh, this bot makes a call to the uh, microsoft azure open ai to get the assessment questions so this is the code uh, with which uh, it, it will use the open ai client with the in given endpoint as well as azure open ai key uh, this one is stored into the uh, environment variable and then we are using this deployment id as text davinci 003 once we get the completions the completion api we get the number of uh, questions that we have uh, asked for and then this this is a format in which those questions come like this is a question then uh, we have the options we have the correct answer and we have the reference link so what we do now that we we, we post this kind of a question one after the other to the users we see like uh, what is the correct answer given by um, 
or what is the user answer against the correct answer if in case the answer is correct answer we just increment that by one and then we just simply post the new question and at the end what we do is we simply post the card saying about your score and then um, other welcome message or or at least other information about how you are performing onto that subject so this is the experience that we have got and th this was quick about the demo as well as the code part and once again thank you very much uh, for for your interest to uh, explore this uh, knowledge team squid bot so let's go ahead and uh, try out this knowledge quest teams bot and do share your feedback with us on how do you like that all right thank you very much